how we do things like Brilliant. that, yeah. and that. And this tutorial is all about how to use the Makey Makey as a human interactive device to bring your code to life. Let's go over to the other camera and make our very own user experience with the Makey Makey. Without going into too much detail about the science packed inside this little box, why don't you take a moment if you have yet to use a Makey Makey and watch the tutorial that we made last year found in the link below. Moving on with our project for day three of the 12 Days of Brilliance, I've used our project planning process that we talked about in day one and day two to put together my project and I am calling it the Makey Makey DJ Box. It's going to allow us to play sound effects as if we were a DJ using Scratch hooked up to the Makey Makey and a conductive material of our choice. Here's how we're going to break it down, no pun intended. Our Scratch code is going to be running in a computer hooked up to the Makey Makey. The Makey Makey is a human input device. In other words, it acts as an input source or an external keyboard or mouse back to our computer. In our Scratch code, we're going to use a lot of commands like when key is pressed. This is going to send a signal down to the Makey Makey where we're going to have wires running from our Makey Makey DJ box and feeding into our Makey Makey. Now, if you know anything about a Makey Makey, it requires both a positive and a negative connection. In other words, we need something hooked up to a live key, like the arrow keys, the space key, or the click, or any number of the keys available on back, and then the negative, in this case, we're going to call earth or ground. I've thought about how are we going to be able to effectively DJ with our hands needing to always hold down ground? What if we construct a bracelet that connects to the ground of the Makey Makey and then on our DJ box we will try to make a conductive record for scratching, a play button, a pause button, and maybe some sound effects. Sound like a plan? Let's get making. So after a little bit of work, we can see that with very little investment, we have something that kind of looks like our initial design. May not be that fancy, but using, the, using inexpensive conductive materials that we can find around the classroom, around the school, or even in the dollar store, we've taken a tinfoil plate, some tinfoil, some copper tape, and we've wired up the back of the box with some tin foil, and that's what we're going to use to connect the alligator clips to the Makey Makey and use the DJ box that we've just created to interact with the Scratch program, completing this loop. You know, sometimes when you set out to create a design, you never know what kind of conundrums, questions, queries, or problems you'll run into. For us, it was how do we make the illusion of spinning a disc like DJs do? In order to make only one area of the aluminum foil plate conductive, we used non-conductive materials like styrofoam and duct tape to cover the majority of the surface area, the conductive surface area of the tinfoil plate. Corresponding to the exposed area of conductive material on the bottom of the tinfoil plate, is a small little conductive area linked to the Makey Makey, and so with any luck, that should complete the circuit. Let's see if it works. Alright, the first thing that we need to do in order to get the digital files to come out of this Bluetooth speaker, any Bluetooth speaker will work by the way, unless you want to use headphones or the internal speakers inside your computer. As long as you can hear the noise and hear the sound of your mad DJ mixes, you'll be set. What we'll have to do is go to Google, and what we want to search is Creative Commons or Royalty Free DJ Sound Effects. Let's listen to them now. We have a few laser effects, DJ scratches. I think we are ready to get this party started, don't you? Let's hook up the Mickey Mickey. There's 
one last step before we interface our scratch code with our physical DJ controller, and that is to make our powerful DJ grounded bracelet. Similar to our design, here we are. Let's see if we have connection. Now, uh, what is this hooked up to? It is up arrow. Up arrow should be this. Okay. Now what do we do? All right, after a little bit of coding and a little bit of crafts, we have our very own Makey Makey inspired DJ sound machine. Now I forgot my headphones and my sunglasses, but in true maker style, I have some safety glasses. Are we ready to start the party? Let's grab a hold of ground and become brilliant DJs. Let's play a tune. That completes our Make You Make You tutorial on how to create a DJ soundboard. Now if you don't mind me, I'm gonna get back to laying out some sweet tracks for this hour of codes. Thank you very much for joining in on this edition of the 12 Days of Brilliance. Brilliant Labs in honor of the holiday season and this web series, we are issuing a challenge to all of our viewers. If you click on the link below, you will be taken to a form that you can fill out and upon submission, Brilliant Labs will review it and then some of our lucky viewers will receive Brilliant Labs support in the new year to complete your project. Check back tomorrow and best of luck with your Hour of Code initiatives this week. Thank you for tuning in to The 12 Days of Brilliance.